And could you speak about the series you are showing in Arles about carnival? Okay, so I'm one of three photographers. I'm also in a room about the early 70s and three books that were made in the early 70s. Eve Arnold, uh, Unretouched Women, Woman, and uh, Abigail Heyman, A Personal Journey, and Carnival Strippers. And it's, you know, I was in my early 20s. I looked, I, I was looking today at this room and it's amazing. We were all working at the same time but didn't know each other's work. So this is, so much has changed, you know, with the internet, with social media. Now you see much from all kinds of places and perspectives. But at that time, it was very rare. So I, we're together in this room. But speak about what we can see and how it happens that you did this series. Yeah, so I Please. was in my early 20s. Oui. I went to a carnival, fairgrounds, and in the back lot, there was something called the Girl Show. So I wasn't really looking for the strippers per se, but I discovered them. And once I did, I couldn't, I was magnetized. I had to focus on who are they? What were their lives like? And then I went back each summer to continue the project. So ah. it wasn't all in one. I didn't see everything. I was on the fairgrounds on the outside, like the men looking at the women. And then I got interested in men looking at women and how men look at women. Um, and then the next summer I came back, I was invited into the dressing room and that of course was in a way changed everything because I could be, it begin to have dialogues with them. And then they opened up the curtain and I could see behind and what they were doing, what their work was. And uh, you know, it was uh, because the girl shows moved weekend to weekend, they weren't always the same girls to relate to. So I would found a few who I connected to very more deeply, let's say. But in, a, in an unconscious way, what were you trying to find? I don't know if it was an unconscious way. I think consciously I was around these feminist debates about women using their bodies as, as you know, to attract men sexually or sex workers, whether or not they were more liberated than women who had feminist identities. And there were women feminists who were against the sh these girl shows, thinking they were exploitative of women. So this was in the middle of a, of a certain period of the uh. early 70s debate. So it seemed very relevant to hear their perspectives, the women who did the work, how they felt about themselves, how they saw the dynamic. I was trying to visualize that power dynamic. Yes, because they were not women. speaking, right? You were taking well, photos to express I, something. Uh, yeah, I would say I was trying to photograph and capture the dynamics of, between the men and the women, between the women and the women, both the women and the managers and the clients. I mean, I was really deconstructing this little environment of the girl show from the front stage to the backstage to the aftermath at night. And what was the most surprising? What did you do, really discover? I, I had no idea what they were doing in the back of the tent. It was really surprisingly intimate, sexually yes. intimate. And yet it was a, there were the kind of bonds amongst men watching each other perform. The, and, you know, the women were te technically performing for the men, but the men were also performing maybe with their prowess for others, you know? So it was a dynamic that, um, and then of course I, I captured all this sound because I wanted to know how the men also saw the women. And so there was a lot of layers to doing this work. Um, and then I transcribed all the text and made a book. And amazingly, that was the work that I showed to Magnum and that led to a completely different chapter of my life. Ah, so, merci. Ça va.